Right, oh, no, so welcome back. Today, we're gonna have a look at the two new birds that I got, which are these two reds in front of me. And we will have a quick update on the birds that have all returned. We've been getting absolutely hammered with rain again and super wild weather with gusts up to like 120 kilometers an hour. Um, and also up to 60 mil, which is three inches of rain as well. So it's been absolutely crazy. Um, so the birds have been doing pretty well. I haven't been getting too carried away with any type of loft building plans or anything like that. I'm just gonna wait until things settle down a bit because this weather is unreal. I just cannot believe it. Okay, let's have a look at these two red cocks that I've got here. We've got um, a mealy and a checkered. They are phenomenal birds, really. I do understand why people are sort of hyping them a little bit. They are very nice birds. The main reason I want these guys is to add a little bit of speed to my birds. It was something I was planning to do next year, but these guys just come up at quite a good deal, so I was like, I need to get them. Um, they are brothers, one's a little bit older, um, and the other one's a couple years younger, so there might be two years difference in them, but the parents are the same. Both their parents are imported Vandervox, so they... Um, haven't been diluted too much yet, so it's quite good. You've got this cockbird here. Uh, I'd say that at this point, he's probably my favorite one. The red checker in the middle here. Well, the mealy, sorry. He's got a bit more flaking on him, penciling. And then we've got this full red over here, red checker, which is quite nice. They're very henny looking when you look at them, but they're both cockbirds. Um, the guy that I've got them off, he has bred quite a few young birds often, but you can look at them getting bossed around by storm <laughs> it's funny i was actually thinking about pairing her up with that cockbird she's bossing him around i know she is paired up with leo but we do have a lot of leo storm babies in the loft so i'm thinking i definitely would like to pair storm up maybe with one of these cockbirds probably the one behind her which is the the merely one not sure yet I, i've only just got them last night um, and haven't really sort of had a lot of looking and thinking into what I'm going to do with them yet but we we will definitely breed quite a few babies off these guys because I want the speed like I said I wanted to bring in some speed and the plan was next year but these guys come up at a really good price because these guys especially for they're only one generation away from the import birds so they still hold they're not diluted down with crossed you'll find a lot that generally get crossed out pretty quick and with um, pigeons, you can go four generations and you're nearly completely a different bloodline with the, the amount of genetic diversity that pigeons do have. So it's good to get these two. They're only quite young, they're only a couple years old. So I think one's like two or three and maybe the other one might be one. Let's have a look at this one down here. He's the one that's sort of standing out for me at the moment. his brother there so it's going to be very interesting to see how these guys go just got a bit more thinking to do with pairing and whatnot but they are nice nice birds be interesting to see how well they cross into my birds so that's these two guys just a very brief look at them we'll go into a bit more detail down the track i just run out a bit of time tonight and the weather's about to get nasty again been trying a new mix as well for my breeders but I'll show you that a little bit later really gonna start looking at the feeding side of things this season too with the breeding season I mean not racing because I've never done it but we'll figure that out I want to make sure that we get the breeding side sorted first probably have a look at the pedigrees of these guys later on as well I've got pedigrees for them it's probably more for you guys that are interested in that kind of thing but their line that they come from is Kittle Kittle's a couple generations away so um, I'm hoping they'll introduce a bit of speed for me. Let's go have a look at the uh, flyers and see what returns we got. All right. You can see that we have got quite a few birds back still. We have still missing both the red cock birds, but most of the other ones are back. We've had this one here come back today. 
it's a lot late most latest one to come back anyway that one's got a little bit of a scratch under its wing that's why you can see it's a little bit shooken up so what i'm guessing is the birds got hit pretty hard they got separated um, and obviously something's really hammered them if you see on my instagram you will see that um, i have one, one that come back with two broken legs i think they may be broken i have to have a closer look but at the moment i've only got her in the nursery she come back yesterday in the, the storms one of storms and leo babies too and we did have a blue checker no sorry there it is blue bar hen she come back as well but she come back on the day and she had a little bit of a scratch under her wing as well so we have it's pretty obvious that we got hit pretty hard and these guys you know i'm going to give them a break before i start tossing them again i just think they got really hammered way too much i think something the hawks have definitely got into them but the rain is about to come we're probably going to get absolutely hammered again so just going easy on these birds giving them a fair bit of food and just letting them relax for a little bit here's one of my little hens that i really got my eye on she's turning out quite well this one one of leon storm's babies she would be a good one to cross one of those van blocks she's got a good form on her um, and she's been flying quite well as well she's one of the few that were doing the two hours and didn't want to stop um, but most of the ones that were doing those two hours flying before when we highlighted the names the ring numbers and stuff they made it back so it's interesting we've got a few of those back so we'll go into a bit more detail this is a quick update just to give you a bit of a rundown of what birds come back and also my two new cock birds we've got which I think will be really good to bring some speed into my birds. My birds do come home. Um, they are reasonably consistent when they're actually trained and ramped up. So hopefully it's a little bit of speed. Might do some magic, but only will we see next year. You're not getting any more food, buddy. So I'll catch you all in the next video. Don't forget, drop some comments down below. Let's hope we get through some of this, this rain, hurry up and disappears. So we can actually start getting into a bit of loft activity, but until then, no loft building because um, I'm just wasting materials. They're just sitting out there getting drenched because I don't really have anywhere to put them at the moment. So we'll see you all in the next video. And there's Beefcake, look at him. Good boy. Oh, I see how it is. You had your feed and you don't want nothing to do with me. I'll remember that. Come on.